channel. So today I thought I would start my series of um, reviewing the rides for plus size people in Florida. So how I'm going to do this to stop this being a really, really long video, um, I'm going to break it down into four different videos. So today I'll be reviewing SeaWorld and telling you how I got on on the SeaWorld rides um, as a plus size girl and then I will review Bush Gardens, Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. If that sounds like something you are interested in then please stick around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell and don't forget to leave me a comment and give me a like. So um I am going to start with SeaWorld. So, I've been to Florida on a numerous occasions when I was a little girl, um, as an adult. And apart from obviously when I was a little girl, I was, um, I've always been a plus size girl. Um, and my shape is of such that I have a larger lower stomach. So my stomach at the bottom is quite quite low hanging um, and it's much out of proportion to the rest of my body. So I don't really have big arms or legs. It's all in my stomach, all in my middle part. I will pop a picture either here or here um, for you to see um, my shape um, so that you can relate to that. Um, I won't be providing my weight because it's nothing to do with weight. It's all to do with your body shape. Um, so I'll pop a picture up and you can have a look at my body shape. So um, for this one, I'm going to do SeaWorld. Um, SeaWorld is a place that I have never been able to go on a ride. And if you've been to Florida recently, you will know that SeaWorld is now one of the best places to go for kind of thrill rides. Um, it's got a good number of roller coasters now. Um, and I've always been the bag holder. I've never been able to actually go on the rides with my husband and my son um, and I've just been the bag holder and I've always had to be just okay with that, you know, just pretend that I'm happy with that and oh I don't mind sitting waiting three hours while you stand in a queue um, <laughs> when really I'm absolutely dying to stand next to them. So I know that a few of you worry about this as well, um, I do follow a few kind of Florida groups and I know that it, you know a lot of you really really worry about it so i thought by doing this video it might help a lot of you um when you're going to florida or you know stop you worrying a little bit about your holiday so that's enough rambling i have written some notes so if you see me looking down it's just because i've written out my notes here um in this book just so that i can um let you know about it i will also pop a picture of the actual ride seat for you um, as I'm discussing it so that you can see you know what I'm talking about and kind of visualize the ride seat so first ride we're going to speak about don't forget guys this is SeaWorld in Orlando um, and I don't know about the other SeaWorld parks I've never been to them I've only ever been to SeaWorld so the first ride is Manta so Manta is, if you've seen it, Manta is kind of similar to Air in Alton Towers. Um, it is one where it kind of tips you up onto your front and you roll around and, it, you know, sometimes you lie on your back, sometimes you're on your front. So Manta is an overhead harness um, and for that ride you need to have two clicks of the harness. Now, they do have modified seating and please, whatever you do, do not worry about asking for modified seating i was in a modified seat um and I, I didn't care as long as i got on the ride i was absolutely fine with that so yeah so it's an overhead harness but actually as well it also sits around your ankle um so if on this ride if you've got a bigger lower tummy like me um and you have got bigger ankles you may struggle a little bit with this because although the harness comes over your head, it fastens at your lower tummy area. Um, so if you've got a low hanging stomach, um, you might struggle. What I would say is always go modified. Never think, oh, I might just try the normal seat. Just go modified. Go modified, be comfortable. Now in the Manta seat, my boys did have to give me a push in. 
so just to make sure i got that second click i'm not i'm not my upper body strength isn't that strong so when i was trying to pull it down i couldn't kind of click in um it's not because it wouldn't go in it's just because I, I couldn't physically do it so my boys did give me a good push in um and the ride staff will help you as well if you need to so i did fit on it and i got in it and i loved it the other thing i will say about it is when you go on your back um bigger chests ladies you may feel it a little bit um i must admit like when i was pushed onto my back on the ride it it did feel a bit heavy on my chest because obviously i've got larger boobs and we you know <laughs> us larger chest ladies can feel these things at times so yeah so for this one overhead harness and leg restraints as well so yeah so that is manta um mako now mako was a lap bar so it was basically something that you pulled down in front of you and it kind of locked at your lower tummy there's a bit of a theme going on in this video guys and it does go on throughout the different theme parks mako i could ride i was okay to go on it again i went into the modified seating um which no shame i was safe that's all i cared about um so it was a pull down bar um and it did sit at your lower tummy now i've got a bit of a trick for you on this if you have a low slung stomach and you are struggling to get on these rides try to lift your tummy up a little bit sounds strange <laughs> and if you have if you haven't got a low slung stomach you might think what the actual but it works so what you just need to do is just lift your tummy up slightly and then pop it down you will get on it if if you're going to get on it that's the, that's the way you're going to get on it if you're struggling so all you're doing is you're going to sit down a lot of people say sit down with it in your in your hands i can't do that so what i did was and i did this throughout the whole time is if i struggled i kind of just lifted my tummy up a little bit and as i lifted my tummy up pulled it down so that my tummy sat a little bit over the harness not the most of comfiest in the world but it's for what a few seconds while you're on the ride i didn't care it just meant i was riding with my boys um so yeah that was the mako ride fantastic ride if you ride it do it you've 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 got to it's amazing um but yeah lap bar absolutely fine i was okay on it felt good on it but if you are struggling just lift that tummy up a little bit and pop the lap bar down you'll be fine um the actual helpers on this were fantastic the ride workers were lovely absolutely lovely um so yeah no shame or anything there get the modified seat there next is kraken um again modified seat for all of these i went on the modified seats um kraken was absolutely amazing loved it um probably one of my favorites if i'm honest um absolutely loved it i was okay with this this was an overhead harness again so again over here but then sits slightly onto your lower tummy the pulling your tummy up a bit does work with these overhead ones as well so if you're struggling what i would say is just kind of pop your hands down lift your tummy up and bring it down um and honestly it it does work it really really does work um i was able to fit on kraken really enjoyed it so again just an overhead harness next we have journey to atlantis which is a water ride um now this is a just like a a log flume i suppose um but does have a little bit of a surprise in the middle of it and um, which i won't give away um anyone who's been on it before will know what i'm talking about um now this is just a lap bar absolutely fine i've been on this when i was at my biggest um and i've been on it every time i've been to florida so this is no issue um you do have to it can be quite slippy when you're getting into it because obviously it's quite a wet ride um but as long as you're able to kind of push yourself up and your own body weight up to get out of the rides um as if you're in kind of a log on a log flume um and you have good mobility in your legs um you should be fine with this um because obviously it's slippy um on the floor and the seats what i tend to do is i tend to stand on the seat and then onto the floor 
um, just to get in safely because it is quite slippy. So if you do need a little bit of help, make sure you get someone there with you who can help you into this ride. Um, it is amazing. It's great. We love it. Um, and I've never had an issue with it, even at my biggest. Um, so yeah, but like I said, just be careful because it is very slippy on the floor um, and on the seats. So just be very careful. Um, then we have Infinity Falls. Now this is the big rapids ride. Um, this is one of the most incredible rapids I've ever been on. Um, we got absolutely drenched. Not as much as the Popeye Rapids in Islands of Adventure, but we'll get to that when we get to Islands of Adventure. Um, it is incredible. This is the one where you go up on the lift and you have a drop like this, which your raft slides down. Um, it is a seatbelt. Um, now, I think these seatbelts are absolutely fine. I've never had an issue getting into a seatbelt, um, even at my biggest on these raft rides however i have been in rafts where i've had larger people you know bigger than me um that have struggled to get into um the seat belt um i haven't had an issue you can share the seat belt if you need to you can have it yourself um yeah i've never had an issue they do go quite long um but yeah that was that was infinity falls it's brilliant we love it um you won't have an issue what i will say again is it is a water ride be very very careful when you're getting in and out of it not so much harder to get out of because you've got the big circle in the middle that you can hold on to um but it just is very very slippy on the seats and on the on the floor below so just need to be careful with that one guys that you're not slipping and hurting yourselves on holiday um, but that one is Infinity Falls and I would recommend it to anyone. We went, they do have these massive dryers there that you can pay, I think it's $5, something like that, um, to get dry. One thing I will say to you is we went on it in the morning, we went first thing on it and we were absolutely drenched for the whole day. It was baking sun, it was so hot, but we were that wet. We didn't dry off all day we were wet all day in the park so what i would say is you're probably better either wearing your ponchos if you don't want to get wet or if you do want to get drenched do it at the end of the day so that you're not walking around the park all sloppy traipsing around in your wet trainers it's not sexy and it is it's not it's not comfy either never mind being sexy so anyway that is um infinity falls then the last but no means least is icebreaker so icebreaker is one of their new rides um it is very similar i'll probably say the same as tea grass in um bush gardens which we'll talk about when we get to the bush gardens video um it is a um, it's an overhead harness and then it just kind of fastens up at the bottom um never had an issue with this um absolutely fine anybody who's a little bit bigger than me you may struggle a little bit but just with a little bit of a push or a little bit of help you you might be absolutely fine what i would say is these all have ride um tester seats so make sure you seek out the tester seats if you're unsure take the person at the start of the line the member of staff working there at the start of the line with you to see because at most openings of these rides you'll have members of staff and um, take them with you and just say will i be all right again on these rides i did it i had my boys with me as well anyway i'm not embarrassed this is my body i don't i i can't i can't change anything in 10 minutes so for me this is who i am um so i didn't mind i just was like oh you know and they were like yeah you're good to go you'll be fine and i was like yay um a little bit more joyful than that actually because i was absolutely made up um so that is it for sea world really um like i said i was fine with everything at sea world absolutely fine went on everything um and yeah went in all the modified seats for everything um which i if you are worried i would highly advise just doing that just say to the staff member when you're about to load onto the um, carriage that you'd like the modified seating and they will show you to the modified seating or tell you what numbers to go into. Um, so yeah, so I hope this has been helpful. Um, I will be coming back 
next time with Bush Gardens, um, which is kind of the sister park to SeaWorld. Um, so I'm going to do Bush Gardens next. Um, if that sounds like something you are wanting to watch or you're interested in, please come back to my next video and you might want to hit the notification bell so you're notified when that actually goes live. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video um, and if you're going to Florida in the next few days, then really try and have the time of your life and don't forget, give everything a go. Even if the tester says no, if you're close, give it a try. Okay, so have a lovely, lovely week, guys. I will catch back up with you in the next video when we will discuss Bush Gardens and their rides there. So love you all. Bye.